really can't see it. Speaking of coming from a blue collar city where you, you know, you value local Damien's next choice is, um, Tencent, which is actually Vivendi in fairness, but you yeah, can't actually buy it wasn't Vivendi. Tencent. It was Vivendi. Yeah. Because so you can't be buy fair. it though. So, but well, let's, let's be fair. Let's I didn't, talk I didn't about want this. to invest in Tencent. Okay. So we're, we're done with Airbnb. We're done with Airbnb. It's a hell okay. no. I'll I'll even flash okay. the hell no hell no on the screen. Now we can go on to ten cent. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, you know this one. I feel cheated by this one because I I actually wanted to invest in Vivendi because you guys know I'm I'm an annoying francophile, and uh, uh, Vivendi is based in Paris, and uh, so I, I but we can't invest in Vivendi because Robinhood sucks. So we have to do 10%, uh, sorry, 10 cent, because 10 cent is a 10% owner in the company that I want to uh, invest in, and that is Universal Music Publishing Group. And the reason why I want to invest in that is because they uh, just bought all the music of Bob Dylan, and uh, I'm pro uh, Bob Dylan, and that's it. It's that simple. I don't care. I don't care beyond that. The boomers I, I, everywhere are 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 very uh, in, deeply in agreement with you um yeah that's just it it's that simple of a choice i i didn't look into anything about anything uh, i just I, I i i saw bob dylan and that's it i was done it's over and, and boomers are morons emma do you want um do you want to you want to talk about this um because we I have to invest only... in chinese company tencent not actually vivendi <laughs> that, that's the that's the weird part of this i'm okay if you say I no I'm okay because I, I actually do want to invest in Vivendi, so I don't know what to think about this one. I just, first of all, it's I think that partially it's interesting because the idea of buying up an an artist like a huge artist like Bob Dylan, his entire discography is crazy, and potentially very very lucrative. And if it keeps doing that, and if other companies follow in their footsteps, it could create a very interesting niche in the mark in the music market for licensing and stuff but it also makes me sort of sad for artists that they just you know all their life's work their entire artistry is being sold to a huge company just be pieced off and sold for huge amounts of money i don't know oh, well makes- bob dylan only made 300 million dollars well why are you so you're are you objecting to the the, the general commodification of art or are you objecting to do you, well you let's that, be clear yeah if art doesn't make money art doesn't exist like it is that what? simple that's a strange thing to say but keep going it is well so i guess you've never been so you've never been an artist i suppose oh yeah no I, film and media studies major that knows nothing this, Emma, about art i'll tell you this i have created a lot of art in my life and it's made me zero cents so what, what does that mean but the entire art world <laughs> does not exist if some artists don't make money so it's necessary you mean the art because... business you mean the art business correct okay okay because the art world still exists without the commodification of art Hey, right. when you guys are done curating a museum, can we talk about Tencent, <laughs> the company that we're supposed to buy? But Tencent makes me mad, and so yeah. I'm giving it go. Here's the only yeah, thing gonna, you need to know about Tencent. no, too. <laughs> In December of last year, the Chinese government, Tencent's a Chinese company, the Chinese government reprimanded Tencent for infringing on their users' privacy. They're the big, Tencent owns WeChat, which is China's version of oh. WhatsApp, um, and Which is actually, huge. or WhatsApp is China's or U.S. version of we, WeChat. Either way, um, but the Chinese government, who used WeChat to systematically track Uyghurs and oppress them, reprimanded Tencent, the owner of WeChat for infringing on their users' privacy. I can't even imagine what Tencent did to get the Chinese government to say, whoa, that, that's even too far for us. We wouldn't do that. So <laughs> this is a hell no. Um, be-